Hey guys, it's Aguas Intelmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be looking at a mixed reality plugin for OpenXR, which was developed by Microsoft HoloLens team. I'm also going to show you how the demo that they work on actually functions and I'm going to walk you through every single step in order for you to make it work in Unity. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to be jumping into the application that I already deployed. So I'm going to go and go into all apps. The application is a demo that it's called the OpenXR HoloLens 2. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I'm going to step forward a little bit so that everything is correctly aligned. And we can see the Unity logo is opening up. It's showing. And this is basically their demo. So if I look at my hands, you can see that my hands have cubes and everything is mapping to the joints. I can also see that there's a couple of spheres on my hands already. A couple of spheres. There's a couple anchors already, cubes floating around because I already added those anchors in a, in a previous session. I can also take a photo. Unfortunately, I can't do that right now because I am doing video recording. But if you were to get your hand close to that and you basically do an air tap, it's going to take a picture, which actually works really well. The other thing that I can also do is I can get close here and I can now basically toggle cylinders. So you guys can see the cylinders are, you know, it's like a bat, like a baseball bat and they are rotating correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and just toggle that so it goes away. I can also toggle the hand join cubes. You can see that now all I see is just the two spheres around my hands. So let's go ahead and you know bring those back because I, I actually really like the look of them. And then I'm also going to toggle. So currently if I were to rotate my head, you're gonna see that there's a sphere, right? There's a sphere that is also using the position of my head so I can look up and the sphere stays with me. But I can also do the same thing with the tag, with the eye gaze. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And you can see that now I'm getting a little cube. And now that this is the center of my eyes, so it's basically just using the position of the gaze. And that works quite well. So I'm gonna go ahead and toggle it so it goes away. And the other thing that I can also do is the single. So I could change it from single pass to multi-pass. So I'm just gonna do a multi-pass. Just look around just to see if we see any difference. We shouldn't be seeing any difference in there. But I'm going to go ahead and change it back to single pass. And I can also toggle the anchor creation, which if you've seen my videos, you know that we already look at the AR anchor manager. So that's what it's using. So I can create an anchor here. I can create another anchor here. I can create an anchor here. And you can see that it creates an ID and that's actually the GUI that gets created for each anchor. And, yep, and everything, everything is working. So. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be jumping into Unity and actually walking you through every single step that we need to do in order to deploy these two devices. So what we're looking at right now is the Unity scene that I showed you in the beginning of the video. So you can probably, you know, notice some of the shapes that we were using our hands to, to activate. So what I'm going to do is this, everything in here is already being set up with the sample package that I show you on the beginning of the video. A couple of things that I wanted to just show you is that a lot of these things are already using, a lot of these components are using AR Foundation, which I thought was interesting, but it makes sense because OpenXR doesn't really tie directly to MRTK, which it actually can. But in this demo, we're using purely OpenXR and then the Mixed Reality Toolkit plugin for OpenXR with AR Foundation. So we're gonna be looking at how to basically get this set up so that we can deploy it to the device. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And we're going to be creating a brand new Unity project. I also created a basically an MD file so that I can walk you through some of the requirements. And I'll be posting this in the basically in GitHub so you guys can access it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is you can look at some of the requirements. So we can look at the install documentation here. Just bring it in here. And I already have a video where I go through how to set up the HoloLens you know, environment so you can deploy to, to the device. So make sure you watch that. But just to give you an, over, an overall, you're gonna need Windows 10, you're gonna need Microsoft Visual Studio 2019. These two components are going to be required, which is the desktop development with C++. Also what's called UWP, which is Universal Window Platform. You're gonna need that. And you're also gonna need the USB device connectivity because we're gonna be basically deploying to the device. Other things that you're gonna need, you're gonna need the Windows 10 SDK. That is one thing that I didn't install when I was getting things going and it just, you know, nothing was actually working. The other thing that you, is optional, but you can also install is the HoloLens emulator. If you don't have the actual device, you can also, you know, opt to installing the emulator. I'm not gonna go through this because this is gonna be a different video, but today we're gonna be going through actually creating the project. So other requirements, let me go ahead and close out of this. 
are going to be the, for this package, which is the OpenXR package, you're gonna need Unity 2020.2 or later, which is what I'm gonna be using. We're also going to be using the Unity OpenXR plugin. It's actually gonna be a dependency of the Mixed Reality Toolkit tool that we're gonna to use to bring the packages. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Also, Visual Studio 2019 or later, I already talked about that. You also are gonna need the Universal Windows Platform as one of the packages, one of the platforms that you install with Unity. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then installing OpenXR with the Mixed Reality Feature Tool. We're gonna to be using that. I'm actually super excited about that new tool. It's really, really helpful to use it because it, you know, it takes care of all the dependencies. You don't have to worry about, you know, okay, which package do I install, which, which version. So Microsoft did a really good job on getting that going. And I'll just show you what to do on some of these, on some of these other steps. So you can also look at these documentations. Again, I'll put it in the description so you guys can see it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be jumping into Unity. So let's go ahead and open that up. Then I'll just bring it in here and we're gonna be creating a brand new project. Make sure that you click on the down arrow and you select the 2020.2. Before I do that, I'm gonna go into install and I'm gonna show you that I have this component as a platform, right? So if you go here and you click on add modules, you're gonna see that I installed universal window platform build support. You're gonna need that because we're building to a, a Windows device, which is going to be the HoloLens. It also needs it for, you know, for the building process, deploy process, so make sure you install that, otherwise things are not gonna work. The next thing that you need is we're gonna go into projects. I'm gonna be creating a new project. And then you can just select 3D. We're gonna be doing 3D. And then in here, I'll just do the name of the project. We'll just say open XR HoloLens to demo. I already had a HoloLens tool, that's why I didn't select that name. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on create. It's going to be creating the project for us. The reason why we're doing this first is because we're gonna be using another tool that I mentioned in here, which is the mixed, real, mixed reality tool. So if you haven't downloaded that already, that is going to be you know, available in this link. So if I go here, open it up, you're gonna see that the link in here has the, the tool that you can download. You can click on installation and usage instructions. It's basically gonna give you a zip file. You can extract it and then you can open it up. It's gonna minimize this just in case we need that. Okay, so now that we have it, which I already have, I put it under my program files. So let's go ahead and go to that. And then program file 64, so another x86. And then I put it under Microsoft. Let's see if I can find it in here. It's going to be the MR feature tool. And it's going to, I, I see it as a developer tool, which it is a developer tool because they basically don't give you an installation. It's just a, you know, a list of binaries. Everything is compiled on .NET 5.0. So I'm really familiar with this stuff. But anyways, you can double click on the EXE and then we'll just leave that open. It's gonna, we can just close out of this. And then I already created a project here, but we're gonna have to go through and add a couple of things to the project. So the first thing that we're gonna do in order for this to work is we need to also incorporate a couple of packages that we're gonna need. So I'm gonna go into start. This is gonna be bringing in a couple of features. And one thing that I did before I follow the steps, I went into file and then build settings and make sure that you change this to universal Windows platform. So it's gonna do switch platform. While that is going, we can look at what the Microsoft Mixed Reality Feature Tool is giving us. So if you go in here, you're gonna see that it has platform support. You can also download the Mixed Reality Toolkit from here. And then, you know, different components from Azure that you might need. The one that we're gonna need for, for this video is going to be the Mixed Reality OpenXR plugin. So I'm gonna click on get features. It's going to download the packages and at some point it's gonna tell me, okay, the manifest has these, these are the dependencies. In my case, I don't really, it doesn't really have the required dependencies here. I, I guess not yet because we haven't selected the project. But if you go here, you're gonna to have to select the project. I'm gonna do demo because that's the one that we're doing right now. I'm gonna click on open. And now it's gonna tell me, okay, that this is a feature that we're installing. If we had any dependencies of that, it would show here, it doesn't show anything. I didn't do validate before, we can do validate. It looks like no issues were detected. And then click on import. This is the view that I wanted to show you. Basically shows you your manifest file, which is a JSON file that is already in your project. And then files that are going to be copied into the project, which is gonna be what's on the right. We can approve it. I think that's really helpful if you're doing, you know, if you have larger projects and you have a lot of dependencies. I think getting a snapshot of that is really helpful. I'm gonna be exiting out of that. And then I'm going to, well, we don't need to add an open scene just yet. It looks like the, the switch work. The only thing that I did to make this work, I'm gonna select the ARM64. 
And it's going to tell you that this machine cannot run ARM64. And that's right. We can't really run ARM64 architecture because this is a Windows machine. We're going to be running ARM64 on the Oculus device. So, so that's fine. We can just ignore that. I also did a release build, so we can just leave it at that. And I'm just going to select HoloLens here. Some of these fields you don't need to really change. I, I like to do releases because otherwise I get a lot of issues. And then that's basically everything that we need to do there. The other packages that we're also going to install, I'm going to go into Windows and then go into the Package Manager. I'm going to download AR Foundation. So let's go ahead and switch this to Unity Registry. And then I'm going to do just search for AR Foundation here. And then it's going to tell you the requirement is that we have 4.0 or greater. If we go back in here, it's going to tell you that install AR Foundation 4.0 plus. So we have 4.0.12. That should work with our setup. I'm going to click on Install. And we're going to be installing this package. Once we get this package, we're going to be looking at another package that I'm also going to need, which is going to be part of OpenXR, unless the other dependencies that I just installed through the Mixed Reality Toolkit install it. So we'll just look at it. I don't remember 100%, 100% if I had to do if I had to do this twice. And you need to registry. Let's go ahead and take a look at the file and then go into build settings. And then I'm going to go into player settings. And one area that we're going to be, and it looks like we do have to install the, the OpenXR plugin. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go into package manager. And this is also going to show you the version. The version that it requires, if I go, we can go into the documentation here, is going to be 0.1.3 or later. It looks like we have, we're already in version one, so we should be okay. OpenXR was released you know, recently, so the documentation is not updated yet. But I already tested this, and this should work just fine. Let's give it a minute here to install the package. Once we get the package, we're going to be looking at a couple of settings that we're going to need to change. And also, we'll need to restart this because it's going to be using the new input system, so it needs to restart Unity. So we'll just say yes. So it looks at like that finished. Everything restarted. So the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to close out of this. We don't need to have this open right now. And then I'm going to be searching for, let's go ahead and search for Mix. And you're going to notice that it's not going to find it because Mix Reality is going to be in your, in your existing project. And I thought it was interesting because I couldn't find it either. And then I ended up just finding it under some of the packages that I had to install. Looks like for some reason, I don't see the, the Mix Reality package under this. Let's try. Oh, looks like I have it under. Yeah, so this one is, is going to be the OpenXR plugin. So let's go ahead and go back into my into my other tool, which is the Mixed Reality tool. Looks like I already closed it. So we'll just go back here and then go into C and then I'll go Program Files. I should probably just add a, a shortcut for the next time. And I think what's happening is you need to, to have the, the toolkit, the OpenXR toolkit before you do this. So let's go ahead and do and try this one more time. And wait until packages get refreshed. This is going to go into Microsoft serv servers and then see which, which features are currently available. OK, so we'll just do this. And looks like, yeah, for some reason, it didn't install successfully. I probably didn't hit import. Let's go ahead and click on hit, you know. Oh, it looks like I need to select the, the project path. So let's try that. Already have the project selected. And let's go ahead and hit import. And I'm going to do approve. And it says that it has been updated, so we're just going to do exit. Normally, it should show you under, you know, under packages in project. It should show us Microsoft, and that's going to be the package that we want to look at because we're going to be downloading the, the samples project. It looks like it worked. Yeah. So make sure you install the OpenXR plugin first. Once you get that installed with AR Foundation, once you get that going, then go into the Mixed Reality Toolkit and then install the Mixed Reality OpenXR plugin. OK, so now that we have these, we can go into Samples here. And I'm going to click on Import. And that's going to import the, all the examples that I show you in the beginning of the demo. And then we're almost done with this. So I can just go ahead and close it. And then now we can go into the folder here. I'm going to go into Scenes and then double click it. And you're going to see that this is going to be the scene that we're building, right? This is the one that I show you at the beginning. I'm going to check a couple of things just to make sure. Let's go into Build Settings. We're going to be clicking on Add Open Scenes. And there's a couple of things that we're going to need that are new to Unity. And that's going to be the OpenXR feature set. 
which is really cool because it's going to allow you to select which features are going to be supported with OpenXR. So if you wanted to support, for example, you wanted to support the Oculus Quest 2, you wanted to support the Mixed Reality Toolkit, this is where OpenXR is going to shine because now you have, you know, these, this main package that you can start designating, okay, I want to I wanna support OpenXR on the Oculus Quest, I want to support OpenXR on the HoloLens, you know, and so on. Okay, so now that we have this, let's go ahead and click in here, and I'm going to just go ahead and enable OpenXR, which, which is what I, and you're going to get this icon here, that's fine, we'll just check the Microsoft HoloLens feature set. And then if you click on this icon, it tells you that it needs to fix the color space, it's going to be, it needs linear, basically a bunch of things that you can do manually, but you know, the developers actually included these so that you can just fix them all automatically. I'm going to click on fix all. And as long as we don't have warnings, we should be good to go as far as like setup. So look at this, it's good. I shouldn't see a warning here. Looks like we don't have a warning. And then let's go into open XR. Looks like everything else looks fine in there. And looks like everything was, looks like everything was already selected, you know, correctly. You have the eye gaze interaction profile, hand tracking plugin, and then HoloLens and specific plugins already enabled, Microsoft hand interaction profile. Everything was, you know, automatically selected by just enabling this and then fixing some of these errors. Okay, so the last thing that you make, make sure that you need to do, it's going to be this, is it might seem simple, but if you don't do it, this is not gonna work. So make sure that you do it. You're gonna go into Mixed Reality here, open XR, and make sure you click on Apply Recommended Player setting, Project Settings for HoloLens 2. I didn't do that last time, and I for some reason the rendering didn't look right, so I had to go back into that project, re-import everything, and then after I did apply, everything started to work fine. So make sure that you select that. And then it looks like we're getting an error here. Let me just make sure that that's not by applying. And we are getting an error. And let me see if I can, if we can fix that. Object reference not set to an instance of an object. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and check a couple of things in here. Let's go back into my build settings and go in here, open XR, make sure that I have everything selected. I'm also going to be going into Windows here and then selecting enabling and then enabling the Mixed Reality Toolkit, and then make sure that I have it. For some reason, something tells me that I have to have that set. Okay, so now let's close out of this, and then clear this out, and let's go back in, and then apply. And yeah, I think that did it. The, the, the hint for me is we're in Windows, right? So if that setting doesn't work, that means that we also need to enable OpenXR in the Windows uh, platform. So make sure you do it here, and you also do it here, because we're working in Windows right now, but you're going to be deploying to the UWP platform. So now that we have that, we should be able to build it and run it. I think everything in here looks right to me. I'm going to go into build and run. Actually, let's just go ahead and do build because remember, we can't really run it directly because I'm doing ARM64. And that's the one that I tested with and everything seemed to work just fine. So I'm actually going to do HoloLens, let's do HoloLens builds two. I don't want to override the one that I have. And then we're just gonna do select folder. This is gonna run, it's going to generate a build, and once the build finishes, I'm going to connect my device, and then I'm gonna make sure that it is launching before I call this as a successful video. All right guys, so it looks like this finished. So the reason why I have this is not because I'm growing a white hair, it's because I have a USB-C connected to my HoloLens 2. So make sure you connect it before following along. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my build here, and then open up the main solution, which is going to open Visual Studio 2018. Once I get it open and everything builds, I should be able to basically build it to the device. So the other thing that I also had issues with, and don't ask me why, is I couldn't build it and deploy with debug. I had to always select release. So I'm going to assume that that's the option that we're gonna use for now, just to make sure that you get it working first. And then I'm going to also be selecting ARM64. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I am selecting my device here. Once I do that, then this is gonna go through, you know, through a process of building and compiling the whole solution, building the binaries, and then moving everything to the HoloLens so that I can actually try the experience. Well, it looks like the application is launching. I also opened the Microsoft HoloLens application so that I could actually do live stream so we can see the Unity logon opening. I can also see that I need to give it permissions. So we'll just give it permissions. I'm going to call this a successful video, and if you guys have any other questions about this, please let me know in the comments. Thank you, guys.